Two runs, six hits, one air for Eugene. Two runs, three hits, no airs for the Hops. We're in the top of the seventh. 3 0 pitch to Jordan Parr. And here it comes. He takes a fastball, low ball four. Didn't miss by much. Lead off walk. Right hander Dustin Loggins is at work out in the Hops pen. The pitching coach Nelson Cruz going out to the hill to talk with Santos. Parr has stolen seven bases, been caught three times. The catcher, Jose Ruiz, has caught a third of the runners to go against him. The Hops have not attempted a steal tonight. In case you're just tuning in, the Hops in a flat-footed tie with Boise in the South Division with three games remaining in the first half, a split-season format. Either the Hops or Boise will have secured a September playoff berth by the time play closes on Monday. Here's Justin Gonzalez, number nine hitter. He squares to bunt, pulls it back, and takes high ball one. Five straight pitches from Santos outside the zone. They began using a split season format in the Northwest League in 2010. It was a brainchild of one of the Everett front office members. 1 0 pitch, Gonzalez squares and bunts it back towards Santos. He has it, throws to second, low, and picked out by Cordero. In time to get par. What a play by Franchi Cordero to dig out the low throw from Wilson Santos. Gonzalez bunted the ball too hard. They might say that Eugene won the lottery. That was a pick six. Nice dig by the shortstop, Franchi Cordero. Gonzalez at first with one down for Pedro Ruiz. Switch hitter batting left-handed. He takes a fastball high, ball one. Gonzalez stolen one base, been caught three times. They lose some speed in the base paths. Paul runs faster than Gonzo does. Santos delivers, and there's a ground ball to the first baseman, Davis. He knocks it down, picks it up. Backhand flip to Santos, covering, who wins the foot race to the bag with Ruiz. And down to second goes Gonzalez. Two out, runner at second, Steve Neister coming up. Ball came up on Davis, and a nice job to stay with it. Steve Neister is fouled out to right, flied out to right, grounded into a 6-4-3 double play. All against the starter, Logan Jernigan. Go ahead, run at second with two down here in the seventh inning. Dustin Loggins continuing to heat up in the Hops bullpen. Taylor Ard on deck. We're tied at two. Boise three outs away from a win at home. They have a four-run lead. Fastball in there for a strike. 0-1 to Neister. It was Eugene that basically ended the Hops' playoff hopes last year. Really in two ways. First of all, by beating the Hops two out of three, and then by getting swept at Salem-Kaiser. 0-1 pitch on the way, and there's a ground ball to short. Franchi Cordero backs up to get the hop, throws low on two hops, and it's dropped by Davis. Here comes Gonzalez, the throw to the plate, not in time. It gets past the catcher, Ruiz. Down to second goes Neister. Davis, the first baseman, couldn't handle the two-hop throw from Franchi Cordero. It'll be an error on Cordero. Allowing the run to score, and there should be a second error on the play on Davis, whose throw to the plate was wide, allowing Neister to go to second. 3-2 hops. Two errors on the play. One on Cordero, one on Davis. Neister at second for Taylor Ard. 
And the Hops with a chance to get both runs back they gave up in the last half inning. No run batted then for Neister. He's at second with two down. And the pitch to Ard. Taylor takes a fastball in there 0 1. Slide to center walk, lined out to second. One hit is a hop. It was a double yesterday. It led to a run. 3 2 hops lead, top of the seventh inning. Santos, a right hander, working on the right hand hitting Ard, and Taylor takes a fastball outside, one and one. Ard out of Mounted Community College and then Washington State. Very nice, engaging young guy, Taylor Ard. Introduced myself to him the other day. We chatted for a bit, then he jumped into the batting cage to take some hacks. Came back out and came back over to chat with me. 1 1 pitch. Fastball outside corner, 1 and 2. Then he started asking me about Ron Tonkin Field. He thought it was in his second year of, his di- of existence. I told him he was correct. His first day there, he said, yeah, I hear you guys draw well here. He said, yes, we do. Neister leads at second. Santos, one, two, pitch to Ard. In the dirt, smothered by Ruiz. Two balls and two strikes. Jose Ruiz, the catcher for Eugene. No relation to the hops, Pedro Ruiz. Two errors in the inning on one play. Two unearned runs in this game for the Hops. They lead 3-2, top seven to 2-2 two, two, to Taylor Ard. And he takes a fastball that just misses low. Full count, 94 miles an hour. All fastballs from Santos to Ard so far. The Hops with another lead to protect. They led 2-0 after an inning and a half. Eugene tied it with two in the bottom of the sixth. Hops lead 3-2, top seven. Runner at second, two down. The 3-2 to the Hops, D.H. Ard takes Strike three called over the outside corner. He'd thrown the bat away and had taken a step down toward first. He's standing with his hands on his hips. And Ard down on strikes. Hillsborough leaves the runner at second, but they get an unearned run. That's the difference right now in the ball game. Stretch time here in Eugene. And the Hops lead it three to two. Ard throwing right hand to Luis Ramirez comes out of the Hops bullpen. 3-2 Hillsboro. Both guys who have been doing closing duties for the Hops, Cody Geyer and Zach Curtis, unavailable. Thought Geyer might be. He'd been warming up earlier. He may yet be if this game goes extra innings, but Geyer gave up two runs in the eighth inning yesterday there with a difference in the 4-3 loss to Tri-City. Zach Curtis worked yesterday and here in his first pro year after 114 innings as a starter in college. Curtis will not work consecutive games. And so it's Luis Ramirez on to make his third appearance for the Hops. Two innings, no hits, no runs, three strikeouts. And he'll go to work against Trey Santos, Jose Ruiz, and Joey Epperson. Those are the scheduled hitters. Ramirez last work on Wednesday, a perfect inning. He's retired all six Northwest League hitters to face him over two appearances. Here's Trey Santos, left-hand hitter, fastball. This is a little bit low, ball one. Six up, six down against Ramirez in his two previous appearances, three of them on strikes. Santos has struck out, fly to left, hit a sack fly to left. The 1-0 pitch, and Trey takes a fastball outside corner. Generous corner by Tom West, and the Hops happy to take it. 3-2 Hillsboro. Trey Santos hitting 205 with three home runs coming in. Leading off the bottom of the ninth inning. The Hops need to win to keep pace with Boise and keep their fate in their own hands. The 1-1 pitch. Swing and a pop-up. Shallow left. Heyman coming in. Gonzalez going out. Heyman's got a play. Heyman's got the ball. There's one down. Here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Jose Ruiz, the catcher, coming up. Ramirez trying to become the fifth hops pitcher to earn a save. In fact, the sixth, Nick Baker, also has a save. We're going to have a hitter for Jose Ruiz. 
Nick Torres, a fourth rounder this year out of Cal Poly. Nick Torres pinch hitting for Jose Ruiz, hitting 239 with one home run, seven runs batted in. Fastball outside, ball one. T O R R E S, Nick Torres. It's his 12th game with Eugene. Batting for Jose Ruiz. Ramirez set. Luis 1 0 pitch. Slider misses down in the way. Two balls and no strikes. <laughs> Torres backs out to adjust his batting gloves. Fourth rounder out of Cal Poly climbs back in. From a stretch is Ramirez. Righty to righty. He delivers and it's swung on. The fly ball toward left center field. Heyman going over on this one. He's there and makes the catch. The pinch hitter Torres retired. They're two down here in the Eugene ninth. Ramirez has set down all eight Northwest League hitters to face him over three appearances. And it's up to Joey Epperson. Three two hops, two down bottom of the ninth inning. The hops trying to stay even with Boise. Keep their fate in their own hands with two days remaining in the half. They're an out away. The pitch from Ramirez. Fastball in there, in a half. 0 1 to Epperson. Struck out swinging, popped to short, lined out to left. It's his eighth game with Eugene. Has seven hits and 24 at bats. 13th rounder this year out of UC Santa Barbara. 0 1 pitch on the way. Fastball outside. A couple of guys who played their collegiate baseball on the coast just north of L.A. Center stage in this inning. Nick Torres, the pinch hitter from Cal Poly, flew out to left, and now Joey Epperson from UC Santa Barbara. Ramirez, 1-1 pitch. It's on the way. Fastball just misses inside, 2-1. and one. Epperson digs back into the right hand batter's box. And this is his eighth professional game, Joey Epperson. The 2 1 pitch, swung on line drive, ripped past Ramirez up the middle for a base hit. And Eugene is still alive. Epperson this year at UC Santa Barbara stole 15 bases in 18 attempts. He's stolen one out of three with Eugene. Jalen Gorey coming up. That ball smoked right past Luis Ramirez. And the winning run coming up. 3-2, hops lead, two down, bottom of the ninth inning. Jalen Gorey, the number nine hitter. 5'10", 195. He has two home runs and seven doubles. He's 0 for 3 and is struck out twice. Ramirez leaning in to get the sign from Elvin Soto who descends into his crouch. Epperson leads at first. Again, 15 steals and 18 attempts for Santa Barbara this year. 1 for 3 as a pro, held on by Mayers. The pitch to Gore, he swings and pulls it foul. Outside third, over toward the hops, dugout 0 and 1. 3 2 hops. Bottom of the ninth inning. Another close game for Hillsboro. It's been that way for two seasons now. Ramirez checking in with Soto. Now looks at first. Now comes set. Epperson leads at first. And the pitch. Slider in there for strike two to Gore. He thought it was inside. And I thought it was inside too. Crowd all over plate umpire Tom West. That's a huge break for the hops. It's 0-2 on Jalen Gorey. And now Ramirez can get him to try to chase one. Epperson leads at first. Eugene down to their last strike. Ramirez heaves aside the 0-2 pitch. Swung on and missed. He got him. And the hops win it to pull back even with Boise. They're tied for first with two days left. And they hold the tiebreaker.